Okay, first thing I want to show you is all these are very tight switches. They're all, see I run my fingers, no looseness to them. They're all just like they're supposed to be. Okay, this test is basically to show you the address counter works. Normally you enter the address here and then the data here. So starting at zero, I'll just examine it. And then as I increment through it, it you'll just see the address counter count here. And it's just showing random garbage that's in memory. I've got 24K in the system currently. You just see it increments through like it's supposed to. If you want to start at a different address, um, just enter in whatever address you want to start at, hit examine, and it'll put that address in the address counter, and you can just increment through it and see whatever happens to be in memory. Okay, this is just a short little test to show you the address bus and the data. Address is displayed here, data is displayed here. So I'm going to set it to zero, I'm going to increment it, I'm going to enter some data, I'm going to set it, you'll see the data is reflected in the data bus. I'm going to enter it in a few places, then I'm going to alternate the pattern, and then I'm going to enter some more, then I'm going to reset all the data, go back to the original address, and you can see it's got AA in there, and increment through it, and then you'll see it switch to 55 in a minute, see, switch to 55. So that's that's showing that data is actually being recorded. Now now we're in just a random one. It may be zero, maybe ones, who knows. I haven't entered any data yet there. Okay, this next one is to show you the three boards are in the correct location and all can be written to and read from. The three boards are controlled by these last three switches, 8K each, eight positions, so it comes out to be 24K. So first thing I'm gonna do is show you that they're blank, so I'm gonna increment through there, nothing there, I'm gonna go to the next board enter the address, nothing in there, go to the next board, enter the address, nothing in there. Go back to zero, start there, I'm going to enter AA in the, the zero board, so that's going to be AA. I'm going to enter AA in a few places, okay? Then we're going to go to the second board, and we're going to enter 55. Whoops, enter the address yet. Enter the address, and then put 55 in there. Enter it. Okay, now we're we'll going to the last board, which is here, into the address, and we'll put in uh, 0F. And we ended that a few places. Okay, now we're going to go back to 0, into that address, and see you got your AA in there. A few places. Now we're going to go to the second board, into that address, and you see it's got 5, 5 in there. And then we'll go to the last board into that address and see that it's got 0F. So that shows that it was writing to each of the three boards. There's 24K in here currently. I have a couple other boards. If I can get them tested, I may um, add to it. This last test, or this other test, uh, is kind of pointless, I guess. I don't actually have a program in here, but I'm just going to show you. If I hit run, it'll run whatever garbage is in memory. I can stop it, run it, stop it, run it. If I stop it, I can use the single step and single step through. Now it's just random garbage in memory, so who knows where it will go to. The addresses don't necessarily increment uh, all the time because sometimes there's a jump, sometimes there's a multiple step instruction, things like that. So, But it's basically, you can see it's incrementing all the function of its work. Okay, this is just a short test to uh, show you that the video card works. You can communicate to it with the processor. I've written a simple program that simply reads these switches and writes it to the display. You will notice that there's one chip, there's four chips in here, 911s. Um, the two most significant bits are stuck on this chip. I've already ordered the parts. They'll be here in a couple of days and this will be 100% working when I get this fixed. Okay, so when I start the program, it'll start running and displaying the data. See, I can change it. And then when I put all F's down here, it'll stop the program. You'll see it go into halt mode. See, it's halted now. Again, this is just a close-up showing that you can uh, set the... Um, I'm going to put A in there. So this will go through and it'll show an A now in all the locations, except for the one bank that's stuck. You see it's the two most significant um, bits in this 4-bit uh, wide RAM that are stuck. 4-1 comes out 7-1. A comes out Q, small Q, lowercase Q. If I want to go to a B, 
and I'm going to show C, D. So this shows that the uh, program is actually, I want to go to F, or E, excuse me, E, then F, then G. Now I'm going to halt it again. Okay, this last test is just to show you the full character set. I've modified the program slightly to display in the um, uh, on the display the entire character set. The entire character set will be displayed in four lines, four lines repeated four times, and there's 256. First two uh, lines will be all graphic characters, followed by the alphanumerics. So you can see these are the graphics characters. These are the alphanumeric characters, uh, 256K character set, and it's repeated. Again, this section here is not working. It's, I've um, isolated the problem to a single chip. I've swapped the chip with uh, another chip, and the problem follows the chip. So it's definitely the chip. The chip costs a whopping $4. Uh, I've ordered a couple of them for spares, and I will be replacing this chip. It will be 100%.